this is Lana's Enchanted Sky. Welcome to your June cusp readings for 2021. Please hit like and subscribe. Hit that button for a chance to win a free reading hypnosis, whatever I do. I do choose... People from when you're making comments on my videos, that's how I am choosing them. So it's pretty cool. Thank you for everybody saying, making comments that I look a little different. I've lost a lot of weight. I finally am losing weight and um, I'm starting to level out my blood sugar that was starting to get a little high too. So um, I'm going to keep on it and I've lost about over 35 pounds so far. So I'm doing really well. Um, thank you for all the comments and the encouragement. Uh, also visit Metaphysical Meanderings. That's my podcast and it has exploded. I am, from what we can tell, because now we are being blocked from knowing our numbers. Um, I'm not even going to go there. There's some social media that are playing games. Anyway, um, from what we're seeing, we're thinking it's going, it's, it's gone up past 2.1 million more to like 2.3, but we're not sure now. We can't tell, but I know I'm getting a lot of hits. Also look for me on Google Podcasts, Apple's Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor, and like three other places. Um, I'm all downloaded, loadable, so you can do that. Also, um, if you are looking for a reading, hit me up, EnchantedSky.com. I am 25% off. Joke of the day. You know, somebody stole my mood ring. But you know, I just don't know how I feel about that yet. <laughs> Let's go. So my my Scorpitarius, my Scorpio Sag cusps, this is your reading for June. And I ask for any type of messages that you guys need. And may it be in a relationship, may it be in money, may it be in a job. And I did get a job, I did get a career, I did get something where someone is helping you and there's a lot of money involved. Now, you're you're unhappy, okay, with something and you're not in you're deciding this month in June. Now, May has been a huge month. There's a lot of planets in alignment. There's four or five planets in alignment. And you're sitting here making your decisions. And from May to June, this is what's affecting it. New skills, new, you know, there's much you've accomplished. There's much yet, much yet to do. Um, a job offer, a career change. There's something where you're sitting on a decision and you are getting away from Pat. You're rowing, you're rowing away from some, some pain and suffering or unhappiness and you're cutting your losses you're out of there because you aren't happy okay you know maybe you're taking a little bit of a pay cut of some sort but maybe you're going to something that's more because there's a lot of money involved um that's an inheritance type money so that's quite a bit and you're scared or you're can't make your decision up see and you're you're doing a way too much work perhaps or maybe you're you know you're on your way to success. It's just hard work. Or maybe you're just work overworking. This can not, card can also be the card of overworking. But that's in your past. You're coming into this new thing. There's justice. It's fair and honest and in your favor. You're making plans. You're waiting for your ships to come in. You you really are what you're like. I'm gonna make these plans. I'm gonna wait. And you are transforming. And I want to say it's an attitude. It's a way of life. It's you know, since we've been through this pandemic, we've realized we're working too hard. We're not being lazy. We're just knowing that there needs to be a balance between work life and home life and, and all the things that we want out of our lives. We're all going to be dead and ground anyway. So why are you working so hard? You know, and people are doing that right now. A lot of people. That's why this is the year of change. Now, your environment around you is saying, this might have something to do with the internet too. This might have something to do with something. Uh, maybe you're long distance. Maybe you have a job that's remote. Um, there's planning going on also. There's planning, planning. But there's this is more internet based. This is kind of, you know, like maybe you're talking to somebody on the computer or something also. And you're getting help from somebody. 
you're getting some help. I, when I see this card, sometimes you're helping others, but usually you're getting a little bit of help from somebody. And you're holding tight on to everything. You're watching everything. You're watching your money. You're being careful and responsible with your money because you want to make the change. You want to make the growth happen. And your hopes, fears, your dreams are you're on your way to success if you're working hard enough. You've had a couple of work hard work cards, but, but at the same point, this is a little bit different card because this card is the card of working hard and working smart. There's a difference. You either work hard or you work smart. You have two choices. I was always told that by my father. You work hard, you work smart. Use your brain or use your brawn. You got a choice. Now, you've been, you've, this is an opportunity for you and there is money involved. You know, maybe, now I, when I see this card, you're usually making money, but at times I know when I've seen this card where I am spending money or a large money money is coming out somewhere and maybe I'm going to live off it. Okay. It's something that has to do with a large amount of money. And what's large to me might not be large to you. I would say this was several thousand dollars, okay? And you're, you're in your garden reaping your benefits. And I just feel like you're just, yeah, see, there's a message of money coming. I want to say for some of you guys, there's an opportunity with more income coming. And... It's always the darkest before the dawn and things haven't been working out. So it's, it's telling you to move on. See, it's an ending. There's, so there's an ending to all of the garbage that you've been enduring. You know, there's a moving on. There's a transformation coming. There's justice. I mean, that's all really good cards. And it's something that's going to make you understand that... that there, the balance needs to be better in life. Exploring new territory. Told you you're getting a new job. You're doing something different. You might not just be a new job. It might be a career. It might be your career change. It could be it's something. Okay. And it's a change for the better. It has to do with money. Maybe you're investing in a different way. You're understanding that, you know, I can live off investments maybe. If I'm wise. Call in your protection. If you need protection, call them. You can call an angel at any point. They will appear. It's funny because when I'm doing readings for people, a lot of times I'll say, well, I think Michael's around you. And she goes, oh my God, I did call Michael. And I'm like, because Michael holds a sword. Uh, sometimes Raphael does, but Michael definitely holds a sword all the time. Like whenever I see him at least. Terraform your world means you're forming your life the way you want it. You're doing a lot of soul searching. Why are you working? Why are you working so hard? Why are you, why, you know, thinking about why you've done what you've done your whole life? Because we've been told that. That's why. If you work just a little harder, just a little harder. Is that really true? Is that really true? A quest for change? Told you there was a change coming. See all kinds of cards with it. Positive cards, transformative cards. Raise your frequency. Raising your vibration helps you see clearer. It helps you make the decisions you need to make. It puts you in direct connection with the source and your soul. Who is connected to the source? You can hear your soul better by raising your vibration. And if you don't understand the raising vibration, my metaphysical meanderings, the podcast from May 1st, 2021 is talking about me raising your vibration. Activate the divine masculine means that you go for it. <laughs> go for it. That's basically what that means. Okay. You are brilliant. I am brilliant. I am exceptionally clever and intelligent. I apply my ideas, creating a plan to achieve my goals. That went well with this. What is your goal? Work hard or work smart. That's kind of what this is all saying. Blessings to all of you.